guys welcome to brains and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're only but goody thank you for staying tuned to your girl so in today's video we're going to be talking about another missing child that have been found in murdered and Vanessa bling as girls a swim for the girl and what tell them man say me go get whenever never get where me said our body dedicated to the man we me love yeah. be a me no one no other man one man that right there when she when vice carter bring out vanessa bling past thing stage was iconic okay. iconic welcome everybody hi this is brains on the beat it's me but we're going to be talking about Vibes Cartel here and how Scamada use him name, okay? And it says, Incarcerated DJ Vibes Cartel and his business associates have fallen prey to scammers. According to Sikarim's Cartel's prodigy and business partners, unscrupulous persons have created new Facebook pages called Vibes Cartel, which they are using to swindle persons out of their money. He wants people to know the page is not associated with the DJ or any of his team members and is asking persons to desist from sending money to the administrator of that page. Sikaram saw the star that the with cartel being incarcerated, the DJ cannot provide dubs, which is one of the ways the administrators of the fake page is scamming yeah. people out of cash. They're asking DJs and selectors to do their homework before sending their money to these people. Vibes Cartel in, is incarcerated and not doing dubs promo programs. Furthermore, only a few persons can do business on behalf of Vibes Cartel, myself included, said Rhymes, who have been working assiduously to reunite former Garza members in Cartel's absence. You have been warned. Also, please know that Vibes Cartel page is called Adija Azim Palmer. The DJ added that Vibes Cartel's official Facebook page carries a blue verification badge validating its authenticity. The fake page does not. And when Vibes Cartel actually shouted out hobby, that's one of the things that I made sure I looked out for to make sure it was real, that he has the verification tick, the blue tick on his page that it was real. Okay? He expressed disappointment at whoever created the fake page as the DJ is behind bars and does not need persons who have their freedom sparing his reputation. It is so sad that people would want to take from a man that is behind bars. At least you have your freedom so please do something positive with your time so that you can have a legacy for yourself, he said. Sikaram said that having heard of the scam, Vibes Cartel is not happy. He explained that the DJ would just like to focus on his appeal without this latest bout of cyber attack. Teacher has more important things to do to, to attend to. So these things are not welcome at this time because of freedom we are pre. Even if the person who makes the fake page is a fan tongues but no tongues he said. This is not the first time the DJ name has been used to swindle money from unscrupulous unsuspecting persons on social media back in 2013 news broke out that person have been contacting people asking for cash donation to offset the dj's lawyer fees cartel team at the time also had to come out and set the record straight so there you have it cartel said that his facebook page have a ticky like night pony and if it doesn't have a tick it's a fake page and don't send them no money don't do any business with them do any business with them because he's not responsible okay don't do your we research have another okay Chante sykes case again and i'm always saying this people do not pay attention to these stories or take it up on themselves to avoid stuff like this happening until it's too late until it happens close to home until it hits somebody in your family and quite frankly they're going to keep happening until people start demanding that these cases be solved and demanding the people them that they put in positions of power 
to do something about it and also for parents to be more care whether you're a parent or a guardian of a child to be more careful with your children you know that things are happening all over jamaica okay all the psm where we used to say cf and things the best things that are happening in our community they are no more no more so the parents also have to be held accountable Doris Lindsay Earl, adopted mother of 11-year-old Trisha Morris, is now pondering the last kiss, the last hug that she was given by her as she left her house for church last Saturday, Seventh-day Adventist. Trisha hugged me and squeezed me and kissed me and said, Later, Grandma, the sobbing woman said. The sobbing woman said. I may have her from Shulikra because our mother dead five years now and she have nobody. I just up a church to let me go and me beg a church sister to give I upon her and then the perpetrator or perpetrators come take Trisha, Trisha from me. Trisha body was found yesterday morning in a section of Hanover community of Woodlands known as Pond and I actually know that area very well. Um, I went to Rushi's high school. It is alleged that the child had multiple wounds to her body and her underwear ripped away in a manner which suggested she may have been sexually molested and I can bet 99.99% that she was actually molested. I don't know what it is with these men in Jamaica and what they find attractive about a 11, 11 and 8 year old girl when crutches so cheap on a back road and crutches their Jamaica for da a dash way. Okay, zero point zero dollars and zero cents. Okay, like I don't get it. I don't understand it But while growing up in Jamaica, I saw this happening. I saw grown-ass men you two psst, and Grown-ass men looking like a pitney. Okay, so it's not very shocking to me. It's now that it's on the forefront It's it's being put out there. It's no longer a secret I felt like it's a it was a well-kept secret in our culture. No, it's not like that anymore. People are speaking out and we are putting it out there so we can deal with issues that we have and correct them. Lisette Earl stated that Trisha, who attended the Waterford Hill Primary School in the parish, was who you call a young Christian and she was fond of church. She said that around 2.50 p.m. on Saturday was the last time she saw her. 2.50, so that means that she was going to evening service. And if it was a Saturday, 9 out of 10 times, there are 7-day Adventists. Um, she stated she went to church early that morning, but that afternoon she was a bit tired, so she asked her church sister to give an eye on her. About 8 p.m., Trisha was last seen after she accompanied the church sister to her home, which is close by, and walking backwards towards yes. the church. She was never heard from or seen again. The traumatized woman pointed out that she immediately made checks all over the community, then filed a missing persons report with the police. <laughs> Yesterday morning, Lisette Earl said that she was at home when she heard one of her sisters screaming. They gave her a heartbreaking news that Trisha's body has been found. The police were summoned and the body removed from the morgue, removed to the morgue for postmortem. The Sandy Bay police are investigating. <laughs> Honestly, and now the declare state of emergency in those areas. Um, we have been asking for a state of emergency in not only St. James, but Westmoreland, Hanover, and St. James since last year. And now is when they want to do a state of emergency when things are out of control. That is when no all of the pol all of the gunmen, badmen, them all are moved to Kingston. I don't understand their tactics of using this whole state of emergency thing. I feel like it's only a bandage to cover a a wound that needs amputating, and that's just what it is. They need to come up with a real crime plan to get rid of these rapists these like people are going missing left right and center of jamaica young children young children and older people look at a teacher that was found murdered in clarendon recently it's very sad and disheartening and my condolence goes out to the family and parents but 
it's different times now you can't send a picnic on the road by himself and expect people to keep an eye on her like how you would watch her like on hawk not everybody is going to do that because that's not their kids that that's not their responsibility and no much no matter how good of a friend you think a person is not going to watch your child the way you would watch your child and that's just plain and simple uh, civilized time no stop making the same mistake others have and stop being neglectful to your children that is neglect right there not blaming her or anything like that I mean you come from country too I mean no so then you will send you a church by yourself or evening service and all of that but stop doing it because too much things are happening to too many children in Jamaica for you to still think that that is okay comment share and subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one deuces